Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's me Jens from the Wondershed Demo Creator channel and I'm going to be your host today. Currently, during the whole pandemic, many teachers and also professors and doctors at university have a whole lot of problems when it comes to teaching their students. Main problem stems from the fact that we as teachers, I'm a teacher myself, can't teach personally the students right now, but we have to resort to remote teaching. And if you are also a teacher out there, I'm going to show you today how you can easily create remote teaching tutorials or lessons in general using our product Wondershare Demo Creator and a few easy tools like taking your own camera, a microphone and the like. Also, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the Wondershare Demo Creator channel as well as to click the little notification bell down there. This way, you are never ever going to miss out on any new features or updates or videos on Wondershare Demo Creator ever again. So definitely make sure to become a member of the channel. So here are a few essentials that you definitely need to really connect nicely with your viewership, with your students for example. So the first item that's going to be the bread and butter of your presentation is next to your laptop and your PowerPoint presentation or maybe your blackboard like I have in the background, a nice microphone. It really doesn't help your students if they can only see your face, but they also need to hear what you have to say. So definitely make sure to get yourself a nice microphone like this Razer Siren Elite one right here or a Lavalier microphone. It really doesn't suffice at all if you use your laptop microphone. They are okay if you only want to do like Skype calls, personal ones, but if you really want to communicate nicely with your viewership, those aren't good. Those built-in microphones aren't good in general, so definitely make sure to get yourself another external one. Also, what is a good presentation without a smiling face that's going to motivate you all the time? For that, you could get yourself either the camera that's built into your laptop, and if it doesn't have one, or if it isn't good, like on my Asus ZenBook Pro 2, then make sure to get yourself an external one, like this Logitech one. They are pretty good, come at a pretty cheap price tag, and this way all your viewers can see what you are doing. And last but not least, you have to choose a suitable course making software. With that, I mean, you need to get yourself some kind of recording program. And most recording programs out there actually have a pretty steep learning curve. You have to invest a lot of time to get things going, to get the ball rolling, to really find out the feel that's behind those programs. But good thing is we are on the Wondershare Demo Creator channel and Wondershare Demo Creator is actually the perfect tool for you to record and edit your courses very nicely and easily without any steep learning curve at all. And hence, if you do not yet have Wondershare Demo Creator, make sure to check out the link at the top of the description. There you can download the free trial to the program. It's an excellent program and it has such a lot of features. You can't even use all those features in your presentation, trust me. It's a good program. And after you're done, getting yourself all the equipment that you need. Make sure to connect it to your PC and then we can dive into Wondershare Demo Creator, shall we? After you're done installing Wondershare Demo Creator, if you didn't have it already, make sure to start it and now you can click on new recording if you don't have a recording already. So you wanna record your online lesson in some way. I for myself used my master's thesis just now on the um, fractional derivatives of the Riemann zeta function and Dirichlet eta function. And now what we can do is we can set up what we wanna use at first and what part of the screen we actually wanna record. I made a lot of tutorials on how to set up the recording interface already, so make sure to check out the former videos. But to just give you a nice little overview, once you connected everything, your microphone, your video camera, etc., you can click on the little gear symbol right here, and then you can go to the audio settings. You want to set, for example, the computer audio to, to capture, but most importantly, you want to capture your own voice. So definitely make sure to select the microphone that you want to use. And also, for the screen, it's probably beneficial to use the full screen screen option. If you don't want to use that, also make sure to set up the FPS to a nice high value. If you don't want to use the full screen version, then make sure to just select the part of the screen for this. Just drag on the corners and move it around however you wish. But we are going to suppose that we want to record the whole full screen and also next to the full screen we want to record our face while talking to the students. That's a bit more personal. For that what you're going to do, you're going to click on the camera and then you're going to choose one of the cameras that is connected to your PC to capture your face cam. 
After you're done with that, click on the little capture button and then we can go ahead and capture our nice presentation. One tool that is pretty new to Wondershare's demo creator is the screen drawing tool and it's absolutely fantastic. I made a dedicated video on that too already, but to enable it to draw on your presentation, for example, just click the little screen drawing tool button down here and now we are going to click the record button to see what it can actually do. Now one pro tip from me is if you do remote teaching, sometimes you can get stuck with your faults. This also happens a lot where I create videos for one chess demo creator. But the good thing is if you are not doing a live transition currently, you can always just pause your recording, take a deep breath, take a piece of cake, or something, eat something, drink something. And then once you're done taking a little breath, go back to your recording and start over. You can always cut out parts and you can always edit a bunch of stuff in the built-in editing interface of Wondershare Demo Creator. So don't be shy, try your best and retake parts if you're not satisfied already. So when recording, what you want to do is minimize this window too. So what you need, just need to do is press the minimize button right here. And if you really feel like pausing your video to take a deep breath, then just make sure to click the F9 button. And if you want to resume your recording, just simply press F9 yet again to continue with the recording. Now, in the screen drawing tool, what you can do is you can draw into your presentation, which is pretty brilliant if you ask me. So what you can do is you can highlight a bunch of parts if you really want to explain a certain part more thoroughly, or you can highlight a bunch of stuff. So you can draw into your presentation very nicely. Also, you can use a text marker, for example, in different colors and different sizes, and you can add additional text. Adding additional text can be pretty beneficial and yeah, can help your presentation out a lot. And there are many other tools that you can use here, but the most important part is that you can really nicely annotate anything that you really want. And also you can put it into boxes, etc. It's a very nice and refined tool that Wondershare's Demo Creator has built in. It's really cool. Other than that, once you're done with your presentation, make sure to click on the stop button up here or press the F10 button. And then Wondershare's Demo Creator is going to track you over right into its editing interface. Once you're in here, you're going to grab your recorded file and drag it down here into the timeline. What you're going to notice is that you only get one timeline read down there. This is because our audio and video file are currently melted. They are attached to each other. To detach the audio timeline or the audio layer in general from your video layer, make sure to right click onto your complete layer and click on audio detach. This way you can separately edit your video and audio, which is quite handy in many situations. Sometimes it can occasionally happen that maybe after you're done recording the video, you notice, oh, I forgot to say something. If you still want to add some kind of audio to your recording, what you can do is you can click on the little microphone button that is here. And if you click on it, you are going to be able to record a separate piece of audio once again. It's an audio overlay which you can use as a new layer and put it over another part of a video or maybe just a screen capture of a part of your presentation for example. Once you're done editing, you can just start the regular exporting process by clicking export up here. You can either share it on YouTube immediately or you can save it locally and upload it to another um, part of the internet, for example Vimeo or your university's homepage or something. And this basically concludes the overview of how you can create a video course for your university or your students at your school as a means of doing remote teaching right now, which is really, really handy and one chess demo creator makes it really easy for you. If you think this video was helpful and to your liking, then make sure to definitely subscribe to the Wondershare Demo Creator channel as well as to give this video a thumbs up for others to see. This has been the end from the Wondershare Demo Creator channel and I bid you farewell. Have a great one and please stay safe. Ciao!